I would say that our mission hasn't changed. So what we set out to do, and you know, as anyone has a beer with you and I, and we talk about the lore of the good old days, we found the company on a grant that was doing sRNA delivery to make personalized cancer drugs. And, and so we've, we've been true to this vision of genetic medicines and, and, and where we thought the field was going. It's always been about developing new treatments for patients. And I think we're working in an area where we're looking at a totally new type of medicine, a medicine that can have the potential to impact so many diseases, particularly diseases that currently have no treatment, that the impact that we can have is substantive. So Precision Nanosystems has changed markedly over the 10 years that we've been in existence. And this is really learning with working with our customers as what they need to be successful. I would say over the last three years, and I think the contract service work we do really was a, a pivotal part in our change of thinking in that we, we realized that it isn't enough just to provide a box and say, hey guys, you know, drug developer, knock yourself out, develop the drugs in the future. We need to provide them everything we absolutely can in a, in a comprehensive way to have them succeed and bring these drugs to patients. And so, you know, our vision of the future, we, we strongly believe that medicines will be built specifically for the molecular basis of a person's disease that might be shared across the population or might be specific to one person. Um, we, we strongly believe actually that drugs, will, because of this, will be developed magnitudes order faster. We've done this in preclinical, but we're also seeing it in clinical. And we also think that um, increasingly manufacturing of drug products will be patient-centric. So we can continue doing centralized manufacturing, but localized manufacturing will be the first foray into this, so being able to, to manufacture, say, in-country or um, you know, in, in sites all over the world making the same drug, all the way to be putting a, an ignite light system like system into a hospital and having a, a vending machine of drugs that uh, where a patient gets sequenced and then has a bespoke medicine made for them directly in the hospital. That will, you know, that's going to happen in our lifetime, guaranteed. You. Precision Nanosystems enables the simple manufacture of nanoparticles using microfluidics. Our mixing cartridge promotes self-assembly of uniform particles with controllable, reproducible, and fully scalable results. One example is solid core lipid nanoparticles to deliver genetic medicines, which are easily made in one step using the microfluidic cartridge. The nucleic acid of interest is fed through one inlet, and the lipid components are fed through the second. Encapsulation of the genetic material in a dense lipid core occurs on the nanoliter scale in a millisecond time frame. Tuning input parameters such as flow rate ratios and lipid components enables predictable size control to optimize particles for encapsulation efficiency, targeting, and application-specific benefits. The advantages of the technology stem from the microfluidic chamber. As the fluids mix, on first contact the cationic lipids complex with the negatively charged nucleic acid to form the beginnings of the particle core. The helper lipids aggregate further as they come into contact with the aqueous solution. Finally, the peg lipids orient themselves on the surface with hydrophobic tails pointing inwards. This process creates uniform particles and is highly reproducible. For increased volumes, the physics of one mixer can be parallelized to scale output seamlessly from milliliters to full GMP manufacture at tens or hundreds of liters while maintaining identical manufacturing parameters. The NanoAssembler Ignite is a powerful tool for advancing your nanomedicine development. We took our next-gen technology, which was designed for GMP production, scaled it down, and designed a system around it to enable scientists of any skill level to explore the nanomedicine design space. 
In this demo, we'll be making enough lipid nanoparticles to encapsulate all the mRNA needed to meet the dosing described in the Gale 2012 paper. Based on the N to P ratios used, this can be achieved in a single 5 milliliter Ignite formulation. The Ignite's interface puts key parameters that define the conditions of particle formation, such as the total flow rate and the flow rate ratio, literally at your fingertips. It ensures that conditions are highly reproducible, run after run, regardless of who's using it. With Ignite, NextGen has been scaled down and engineered into a format appropriate for preclinical development work. Fluid input is handled through syringes, which attach by lure lock directly to the Ignite cartridge. Here, RNA in an acidic buffer is loaded in a syringe, then our Genvoy ionizable lipid mix dissolved in ethanol is loaded in another. The Ignite will inject these into the next-gen mixer under the conditions specified to control the nanoprecipitation reaction. Because the same next-gen technology is available across the nanoassembler platform, users are able to work with and start developing a process representative of the eventual GMP process. So you're not only making formulations for preclinical studies, you're also getting a head start developing that final process at the earliest stages. The ease of use of the Ignite addresses another appreciable challenge faced by the field namely assembling or training a workforce skilled in the art of making LNPs. The Ignite lowers the barriers to successfully formulating nanomedicines and reduces human error. This means you don't need to spend years in the lab perfecting a technique. Instead, new users can get up to speed very quickly, parameters can be transferred between users or to other departments or between collaborators, so researchers can concentrate their efforts on the multitude of other activities that are crucial to developing a vaccine or other nanomedicine. We created NextGen to address the challenges of clinical and commercial scale manufacturing. On a GMP system, a single mixer throughput of over 200 milliliters per minute is possible, while maintaining the control and reproducibility that is the hallmark of nanoassembler non-turbulent mixing technology. The fluid path is completely disposable, mimicking what you would do in the GMP environment. This also reduces the risk of cross-contamination and eliminates the priming and cleaning steps, which greatly streamlines the workflow. Here, you can see just how fast Ignite produces this formulation. You'll also see Ignite automatically divert a small portion of the formulation at the head and tail of the process to ensure only the best quality particles produced under steady state conditions are collected. And here you have a 5 mil formulation which encapsulates more than enough RNA to meet all the in vivo dosing requirements of the paper. You can make formulations between 1 and 15 ml pre-dilution, which is ideal for exploring the formulation design space and evaluating formulations in a range of in vitro and in vivo models. The next step for this formulation is to prepare the particles for dosing. This involves particle purification by either centrifugal or tangential flow filtration, and finally sterile filtration. The ease of use, speed, control, reproducibility, and scalability make the Ignite a tremendously powerful preclinical development system. 